Last month, Security Minister Jim Mohwezi banned hawkers from vending merchandise in villages around the country, accusing some of them of being criminals. In a statement, the minister said, and we quote verbatim, we have received information that there are criminals moving around villages, especially in western region, masquerading as hawkers or traders. This practice should not be allowed as it is a source of insecurity. Those who want to conduct trade should do so at trading centers. Subsequently, security agencies led by police have now banned the sale of tools such as hoes, pangas, knives and other sharp objects on the streets by vendors and hawkers. Police say the dealers and illegal vendors of raw weapons are not known or profiled by the police, making it hard to track down the source of this weaponry. Although vending is not a crime, but uh, the directive to our territorial commanders is for them to confiscate these equipments, these raw tools and equipments, due to uh, the potential of contributing to crime and the impact it uh, and uh, the impact it poses on safety and security in the different neighborhoods. Police spokesperson Fred Enanga made these remarks while addressing a weekly joint security conference at the police headquarters in Naguru in Nakawa Division and hopes that they can have a better control of the situation with these measures. We believe that uh, once we confiscate uh, uh, these uh, tools that can easily be turned into weapons, it will help mitigate some of the risks of safety and security in our neighborhood. It will mitigate some of the risks that our motorists face uh, first during the smash and grab attacks uh, while in traffic jam and even other road users, especially pedestrians. We are going to continue working with KCCA, the agency that is tasked with vendor enforcement, and uh, at least ensure that uh, uh, this uh, directive here is actually uh, put in place. KCC authorities who spoke to New Vision, however, say the police have not yet contacted them about the matter, including their plans. In light of the fact that about two months ago, police in various operations netted people whom security linked to the November 16th twin bombings in Kampala, we wait with a watchful eye of what happens next. Download the app on App Store or Google Play Store now. Vision Digital Experience, the future of media.